Hi, this is Ross with My Service Depot, and today we're going to go over how to use iFleet for Smart Service. Now, when you first open up iFleet, it brings you to your daily worksheet. Now, this is where you can clock in, clock out for the day, add your starting mileage and end of mileage, and keep track of the amount of fuel you purchase. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on Job List. Now, this will list off all the jobs you have scheduled for the day. Just tap on the job you wish to go to. That will bring you into the job. Now at the very top, that will be the time that you're scheduled to do the job. But also when you click on it, that brings you to your timestamps. This is service address. This is where you can tap on it. And it will give you step-by-step -step driving directions from your current location into your customer's address. Now if you scroll down, it gives you the basic billing, customer information, your main contact, and then you get to the guts of the job. Now next is notes. Now this will be the notes that your dispatcher would type in about the job. Also where you can tap on the screen and type in your own notes. Now next is items. Now when you tap on it, this will bring you to all the job items assigned to the job. But this is also where you can add all the different parts and prices. All you have to do is click the little plus in the top right and you can then click item. That will then bring you to all your job items you can select from. And all you have to do is tap to select to where you can adjust your description, quantity, rate, and amount. Once you're done, you just click back and now you can see how we add the item. Next is history. Now this will show you the complete history of every single job you've done for the customer. Next, equipment. Now this will list off all the equipment the customer may have to where you can view it, or even click the little plus in the top right to add a brand new one. Then is customer and job UDFs. Now this is where you can gain access to all your user definable fields you have set up. Next is photos for this job. Now this is where you can add images to your job. You can take it or choose from your library. And what's great is all these images would then be sent back to Smart Service in the Correspondence tab. Then last is finalize this job. Now this is where you can give the iPad to your customer or iPhone, have them read your terms and conditions and agree. Their email and all the parts and prices will show up to where they can agree on the mount and get your customer signature. Once they're done, you just click Save Signature. It gives you two options, either email or to print. We're going to go ahead and click Email. That then brings you into your email with the work order and all the parts, prices, even the customer signature. And all you have to do from there is click Send. And it's that quick and easy to update your job using iFleet for Smart Service. Now for more info, go to smartservice.com or follow us on Facebook and Twitter with the links below.